Hello brothers and sisters, it's me again, Karen, and I wanted to share a dream with you that I had a number of months ago. And um, the Lord has been putting it on me to share all of my dreams recently, so I wanted to share this particular dream that I had about the mark of the beast. It was a number of months ago and I hadn't really done any research on the mark of the beast. For those of you who don't know, I'm a new Christian, so I came to the Lord again last year. And before that, I was a Catholic for many years, so I hadn't really read the Bible or anything. I vaguely had heard about the mark of the beast, but nothing really in depth. I didn't know too much about it. Um, so whenever I had this dream, in the summertime of this year, 2018, it was of my sister and my sister was in a large room like this one and she was up on the stage and she was telling everybody about this marvellous thing, which was the mark of the beast. So, um, but it wasn't a bad thing. She was telling everyone it was a wonderful, wonderful thing because it was going to cure her of her depression. And she was really, really happy about this. For any of you who have suffered from depression, you know how debilitating it can be. It is extremely difficult to see any hope for the future. And when you're stuck in that pit of despair, you know, you really think that you don't have a future and you're gonna feel like that forever. And the, the way out that normally is offered is through the pills. And if you're the type of person who suffers from repeated episodes of depression throughout your life, you will soon find out that the pills aren't a cure. And they often come with many side effects. And then it reaches a stage that when you've been on the medication for a while and you, you don't feel quite so depressed anymore. You know, you get so fed up with the side effects. You, you want to come off the medication. And what typically happens is there's a lot of cycling between coming off the meds and then getting depressed again, going back on the meds and then coming off and getting depressed again, then going back on the meds and then coming off and getting depressed again. So my sister is, depression occurs in our family, so it's, um, it's very recurrent and it's affected most of my family members. So my sister was on the stage telling everyone how the mark of the base was going to help her with their depression because she said that it was going to change your DNA so that her depression would be completely cured so that she could get off that gravy train of going back on the pills again because, you know, it is awful cycle to have to go through over time and time again. So she couldn't say anything wrong with the market the beast at all and it was an absolutely wonderful thing and she was selling it to other people there and making it sound like an absolutely brilliant thing now me as a spectator sitting at the back of the audience knew what that the mark of the beast was bad and um knew that you shouldn't take it and i knew that the people were being deceived yes it will give you the benefits of you know um, editing your genes in order to eradicate certain diseases and like depression or diabetes etc but ultimately we know that that this is not a good thing and this very well could be the mark of the beast that is talked about in the bible where we think now it is going to be the rfid chip the radio frequency identification so i just wanted to highlight that um the thing is with this dream and i find this very interesting is i didn't know that the rfid chip um was being talked about as being able to change dna i thought at the time it was just going to be used to buy and sell things you know um sort of like like a built-in credit card or a visa card in your hand you just scan over and you're able to buy and sell with it that's what i thought the mark of the beast rfid chip was i didn't know at the time that i had this dream that it could actually change your dna or have dna editing features in it so it's only recently that i've come to discover that 
the there is a lot of um, DNA editing now being discussed in the medical industry and this very well now could be the future of the for, the redundant pharmaceutical industry and maybe now this is the future of the healthcare sector so we'll we'll get to the stage where DNA editing will be like a such a normalized thing that people will welcome it as the miracle cure so that they can get off those pills and just be cured once and for all and so I find that very interesting that I didn't know that but yet I was you know that was revealed to me in the dream so um, this is just a picture sorry about the quality of getting the the RFID chip inserted into your hand so with the DNA editing it works a bit like this there's a, an editing technique called CRISPR so basically what it does is the cell is, is infected with an enzyme and it goes in and it finds the piece of DNA that it wants to cut out. So it basically goes in and finds it and cuts it out and then splices it with a more healthy part of the DNA so that the, the disease or the condition or, or the thing that the person wants removed is completely healed. Now you can go and research for yourself so I'll just skip on. Of course there's dangers with this DNA editing and I encourage you all to go and have a look for yourself. I've just had a, a glance today and you know the, um, the very real dangers of gene editing technology. So it's I read here today this is like all new to me I was just putting this video together and I'm reading here, it's taken the world by storm. It's showing potential for treating diseases ranging from cancer to type 2 diabetes. So, um, but it's saying here, each mutation has the potential to lead to serious and unintended and unexpected consequences. And of course that. So, um, we need, you know, to be aware of that. And... If you want to go and research all of all of those unintended consequences you can but this looks to be the future of the healthcare sector to me I mean it's just screaming out that this is the way things are going to be moving and really quickly actually um, so with with the RFID chip and this has the actual potential to not only edit your DNA and eradicate certain diseases yeah and that's why people will be queuing up for it and go and give it to me but also we need to be very careful because we know that it will affect our DNA and there has been a lot of people who have had it revealed to them that once your DNA has been changed that will well it does say in the bible that you will be cut off from being able to enter into heaven and if you take the mark of the base that's you you're forever damned so you cannot take the mark of the base under any circumstances because that will cut you off from god's kingdom forever so do not take it and i believe that you will be offered a choice always and always say no because it is worth even if it means starving to death on this earth it is worth starving to death or not being able to buy yourself or get food and then afterwards you know um, and not denying Christ of course afterwards then you can get to go to heaven for eternity whereas if you take the mark of the beast you're cutting yourself off willingly from God forever yes you might get a few more years here on earth but when you die you are going down so there is just no contest here of what to do the whatever way the technology is going to work it is not a friendly technology if you look at our lives now how quick the technology is moving and how much our lives evolve around our screens and we are constantly on them we are bombarded with the wi-fi and the 4g and now it's going to be 5g it makes us ill we're more stressed and now this chip in the future where it's going to be sold to us as a miracle cure for many illnesses and diseases imagine having that in your body what it's going to do to you 
in the long run, it's not going to be good, but it's also going to change your DNA and be an abomination to the Lord. So do not take it under any circumstances. And already there are genetic hybrids out there. There are, uh, if you look at um, the zonkey, a mixture between a zebra and a donkey. There is, let me see what else. Oh, there's loads. Just go onto Wikipedia and look. Look at this list. I mean, it just goes on and on. It's just incredible in a bad way. I, I've, you know, I think it's horrendous. And make no mistake about it. Look at this human animal hybrid. This is the abomination to the Lord. And actually, if you look at some of the mythical creatures or some of the deities, and we know what they are. Um, demons, if you look here, it's Vishnu for, from the Hindu religion. So go on and have a look at at that and it's absolutely revolting. If if you look here, there's Michelangelo has actually draw, painted a picture and it, it's a mixture between a human and a snake. So go and research that, the fall of man in the Sistine Chapel. The serpent of paradise is depicted as a snake human hybrid. I'm telling you, this stuff is absolutely freaky and disgusting. So we want to stay away from that completely. So yeah, that's all um, I think I've got to say for today. Um, the other thing I suppose is about they can inject viruses into these things and release them into your body as well. So. I, I will definitely be staying away from the RFID chip in any shape or form. Okay, so any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. And I hope you have a really good day in the Lord and that you stay blessed and stay in faith with our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Keep the faith, do not fear and pray for one another. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.